Spring is here, which means it's time to get outside and get to work. With the ground thawing and sun shining, we put our equipment to use to help us get the jobs done. With new life to care for and a long list of projects, we feel so ready to get going. New additions to our homestead, as well as new obstacles to overcome, we feel so grateful to turn this property into something functional. As we've said, the mountain gives and the mountain takes. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the homestead. If you are new to the channel, my name's Liz. And I'm Mike. And we are actually headed down to the bottom to our sawmill today. We had to wait for the sun to come out. Everything is still pretty frozen up here in North Idaho. But we're headed down there. We're gonna do a little spring cleaning and we'll show you guys what we got going on. Let's do it. The sun hasn't quite hit landing where the house is, but you can tell nice and sunny down here. So the mud is all thawed out. So it's gonna be good enough for us to clean up around the sawmill kind of get going. Doesn't really hit the house till a bit later in the day. Oh, hey, you coming with? Our first plan for this morning was to clean this whole area up. But when we woke up, it was 22 degrees outside and everything is still just like pretty solid. And it's supposed to be nice today. So I think what we're gonna do first is clean up all the garbage. I'm kind of cleaning out the bottom here, like spring cleaning, bring all that to the dump in the truck. When we get back from that, we have so much to show you guys here. When the rainies were here, guys, they extended our sawmill. We can cut one of the longest logs in Idaho. I think we can cut longer than a lot of the full size lumber mills can cut. So uh, yeah, we are going to show you guys all that. But first, let's get this stuff cleaned up. One thing about living more so out in the country is you have nobody to come pick up your garbage for you, so you get to take it to the dump yourself. However, it is kind of nice that you can leave things that you don't want, not necessarily trash, but you can just leave things that somebody else might find cool. I know we found a lot of awesome things at the dump, so it is nice you can kind of recycle really well that way and you don't have to like drive into town to like take things to the thrift store or whatnot. It's kind of like a little shopping mall, if you will. The sun is out, so that means the mud is back. So much water coming off the mountain. Oh yeah. You can't even see it, it's just running. All right, you guys, so we still have quite a bit of work to do before we can even fire up this mill. Mike is gonna work on changing the oil and I'm going to work on getting all of this old sawdust and all of this old hay away from our work area. Um, and then I think we're gonna be able to fire up the excavator, do a little bit of dirt work so that we can get the zone ready to go. All over the place, I think. Thank you. Oh.
whole purpose of us moving all of this dirt and creating a nice raised flat spot by the shipping container here is to have a nice flat area to put all of the lumber that we're gonna be cutting on the sawmill. We've made the mistakes in seasons past of not having like a super legit um, set up to where we're putting all of this lumber and it tends to warp and just like isn't very good. So we want a permanent spot that's nice and flat because we're gonna be stacking a bunch of lumber here with a lot that we're gonna be cutting. So that is the whole point with this. Some gravel, legitimate gravel would make it really easy to just rake it around. Yeah. <clears throat> Shouldn't you have some grass in your mouth? Mm. Good, you have slobber on your face. You're dirty. You're so oh, dirty. That paint isn't peeling. All right, guys, we are getting back after it. Next morning, we're going to go down and finish up some prep work on that pad for the lumber. Um, still all frozen out. It got super cold again last night, so the mud is frozen solid. And I think while it's frozen solid, I'm going to bring the excavator up to uh, right here where we're sanding and try to scoop out just like a small little trench so this water has a place to go. It's super muddy right there. Oh, so that's first on the list, and then uh, right back to that lumber pad. Yeah, let's do it. Good morning, sheep and lambs. How are we doing this morning? Baby is skittish. <laughs> Mom is good. We got the ram penned up in there. It's just to keep him away from the little baby lamb. Mom is doing good. Well, we got a few lines scratched in. There's this line there, and then I scratched in this one. I actually think this one's gonna work a little better. This is where a lot of the water was flowing from. It was coming down the mountain, hitting this side of the container, going this way. Um, so I think this line is gonna pick up a lot of that water. I also tried to, probably not the best thing, but I tried to block this water here um, just to give it a little more time to soak into the dirt rather than just running right on top of it like it has been, uh, so we'll see. We'll head down to the bottom and uh, see if Liz has that kind of grade all marked out and get some more fill on that lumber pad. Mike and I have been talking and after watching the homestead rescue episode that we were in, we thought it was pretty crazy just how much they don't show you. Like when they took one look at our log pile, one look at our sawmill, they asked, hey, do you guys mind if we extend this for you? We said, yeah, of course, like we've been wanting to, we just haven't been able to get around to it. So they extended our sawmill for us and then were able to use it the entire time, like to build this whole barn, to build the whole lean-to over it like they used it quite a bit it was pretty amazing and they were able to use all the logs from our log pile we just thought that that was really interesting some really big projects that they did for us they didn't even like touch on at all during the episode Getting back going on this right after lunch. And uh, guys, it's looking good. Let me flip this around, check everything out. We got, I don't know, almost a dozen decent sized boulders stacked up, made a nice little corner here, connecting it to the corner of the container, then running down that way. And luckily the ground kind of slopes this way anyway. So by the time you're at this side, it's uh, pretty much just tapers right into the 
the natural flow of the earth. I do actually need to uh, scrape some back right there. It's a little too high in that back corner, but everything else is looking really, really good. Probably, man, we have not even put a tape anywhere on this thing. We know the container I think is uh, 40 feet long. So we're about 40 feet long and I'm guessing about 10 feet wide off of it. So this will be lots and lots of room to store all of this lumber that we're about to be cutting on the sawmill here. Our next move on this here is going to be trying to get this uh, gravelly type rock. I set aside anything small, gravel-like. That's this pile. And then we also have some that's kind of fallen. So I'm gonna dig into that and we're gonna see what type of small rock we can get and try to top dress this just a little bit. I left myself a little room with these boulders to fill it up some. And I'm hoping to get like a nice rock area to set all this lumber on. It needs to be pretty flat. We don't want these boards drying and being like twisted or anything like that. So I think we're gonna get to scooping. Yeah, so we had some wicked ADD, but we did get a good project done. You know, we started this with intention of like cleaning up down here and getting the mill going, but we soon realized we don't have anywhere to put the wood. Mm -hmm. That's where this project came into play. And it's nice to have it pretty much done. Pretty much, yeah, it was kind of, it's been on our mind. Like we need somewhere to stack this lumber officially, you know, a really good spot. And we were down here kind of looking around and this is when we decided that right by the shipping container would be a good idea. So that's kind of why we switched gears and finished that. But that's a really good thing because that puts us in the position where we can just start milling and have somewhere for the lumber to go. Yeah, exactly. It was kind of one of these things that we should have done a long time ago, you know, have a designated area for our lumber to dry and we haven't and now we do. Yeah. So uh, yeah, really cool, really stoked. And I like how it all turned out. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, that's good. I think we might top dress it with like some actual gravel. We're kind of realizing that the rocks that we put on there might be just a bit too big. So, but not totally in vain. We'd need much less gravel now True. than if we didn't, you know, put these rocks on. So For sure. it's all uh, coming out pretty good. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one.